Hey guys, it's Mike Ford here from Back to Balance uh, talking to you today about overall fitness and strength. Uh, we're going to go over a few little concepts today. Uh, the first thing that we're going to go for is why is it useful? So, overall strength is a difficult one because it implies just coordination, strength, fitness, uh, cardiovascular fitness, ability to use your strength. So. And that's flexibility as well. So overall strength really is mechanically everything. Um, being not necessarily raw weightlifting strength, but the ability to say, bend down and pick something up or lift something heavy when necessary. You know, these are very important. And if you don't train yourself to be able to do this, you won't eventually be able to. Um, so why is it important? It can prevent osteoporosis, it can uh, retain better joint health, it means that you won't injure yourself, it limits fall risk. I mean, the list goes on and on when it comes down to it. Um, the big thing that is, uh, I think, underrated is the fact that constant movement and constant uh, exercise, which implies strength, it reduces pain and it increases your quality of life. Uh, it can change stuff like even depression and uh, ME and uh, Parkinson's it has an effect on. So, you know, we have this huge diverse range and what we're learning more and more is the more overall strength and fitness that you have, the better off you are in almost every aspect of life. So, the techniques and the application of overall strength. Now, it's difficult, obviously, to cover in a video because you may be starting at a very late stage in life or you may be starting from a position of high levels of injury or you might be an unbelievably fit teenager. It's difficult to say. So. Um, what's important when considering the technique is, uh, we'll go over three principles. The first is good movement patterns. So making sure that when you do something that requires strength, you move well. Now this requires training, you know, your body just doesn't naturally move well all the time. We train in a lot of bad habits, for example, by sitting. Um, the second thing that I think uh, requires a lot of focus is uh, there's a concept in the body called finite adaptability. What this means is the body can change, and it can change a huge amount, but it can only change so fast. So if you ask your body, if, you know, you haven't run ever, and then you go out and do a 20 kilometer run, of course you're going to injure yourself. I mean, I think that's common sense in many ways, but if you extend that to everything, say for example picking up a chair, or bending down to the floor, or sitting at a desk for long hours, you know, your body will begin to adapt and change to do these tasks if you do them regularly. So that can cause trouble in the case of sitting down in the chair, or of course it can be great if you're bending down to pick stuff up well a lot, you know, you learn to do it well. So we have good movement, we have finite adaptability, which means give yourself time. You know, if you want to learn how to run, take it slow, begin walking, be on a treadmill, go uphill. You see, grade it as if you're teaching a child to walk. So the third point I want to cover is, and we went over this a little bit, is injury prevention. So if you want to get strong, if you want to make sure that you are uh, keeping your joints well and keeping your bones strong, uh, it's very important to know your limit and not to push it too hard. The inclination will be to go out there and get strong, but you'll only end up hurting yourself if you don't remain gentle at the beginning and grade yourself up into it. Now that's finite adaptability, but I think more understandable is injury prevention, right? Don't hurt yourself trying to get strong. Okay, let's move on to how to apply it. How to apply overall strength and fitness. Every day is the best thing. Right, every day do a small amount. I'm not saying a thousand press ups, but you know, you do a few movements throughout the day lunges, squats, uh, go for a little jog or walk for a long distance. These sorts of things will promote your body adapting over time. And you'll be amazed at how your ligaments will strengthen, your joints will feel better, and generally you'll feel more well off. What I wouldn't advise is having one crazy training session a week. Um, absolutely killing yourself, being sore for the next two days, and then trying to struggle back into it. Uh, that's a surefire way of getting burnouts often. Um, it's better to you know, really build it into your lifestyle. Uh, so that's the application of getting strong and getting fit. What I would say, guys, is wherever you're doing this, um, you won't know necessarily if you're using the right techniques. You won't know necessarily if you're pushing yourself too fast. If you have any questions, contact a chiropractor, contact a decent personal trainer, they will be able to guide you through most of this. Uh, leave questions in the comments. Uh, we'll respond to as many as possible uh, and get back to you. Right, have a lovely day guys. Mike Ford, Back to Balance.